maybe luminous just sounded fancy hi guys it's ali welcome or welcome back to my channel as you can tell from the lack of foundation on my face we are doing a foundation review today so i do have the new faux filter luminous matte foundation that Huda released a couple of days ago. Now this foundation is supposed to be a revamp of the initial faux filter liquid, sort of dealing with all of the concerns and problems that we had with the first release. I definitely was one of the people that hated the fragrance of that foundation. I wore it once I believe and it made me feel sick so I gave it to my sister. When Huda announced that they have relaunched this foundation but fixed all of the problems, especially the fragrance, I definitely felt like it was a good opportunity for me to give that foundation another chance. I know a lot of people love the original Fire Filter foundation but I just never got a full feel of the product because of the smell. I couldn't do it. The stick foundation was such a good match and formula for me that I thought now's the time to try the liquid foundation since everything that I sort of had an issue with has been fixed. So I am going to be trying this out for you guys today. So this is the one that I have. I picked up the colour 500G Mocha. The one thing I do want to address just before I put this on my face is what on earth a luminous matte product is supposed to be. I feel like those two words next to each other contradict each other. I have no idea how it's supposed to be both and I'm gonna go ahead and figure it out. I was very intrigued by that terminology but then I thought to myself maybe they've thrown in the word luminous just to differentiate between this foundation and the original one. So I have no idea but I'm gonna go ahead and try. I'm not a fan of matte products, but this is a luminous matte. So maybe it'll be a demi matte, maybe it'll be a satin finish foundation. I don't know. As long as it doesn't look powdery on me, as long as it doesn't make me feel dry, we'll be good to go. I don't wanna waffle too much about the product without applying it. So we are gonna go ahead and start the application and I will start with a primer. So I am using the Huda Beauty Water Jelly Primer. I don't own or have, I think it's called the Faux Filter Primer. And it's the exact same reason why I don't have the foundation. It's got the same fragrance to it that I don't like. So we are going to go ahead with the Water Jelly Primer, which since my review, I have learned to like this product a lot more than I did when I first got it. If you guys know me, you know that the Milk Hydro Grip is my go-to primer. But I think this is a good substitute for that, just because I love hydration. So I've blended in the primer and I've just put a little bit of that foundation on the back of my hand. And I'm just gonna spread it out so you guys can see how the shade looks. So this is 500G Mocha. I'm really sorry, but I have to do this. I had to smell it just because, you know, I had to see, I had to see just in case they sent me the wrong one. But yeah, no, that scent, that floral sort of scent that the first one had isn't here. I'm content. I am definitely content. And for the sake of the video, I will swatch the stick foundation next to it just so you guys can see how those shades compare. So the stick foundation is there on the bottom and the liquid foundation is on the top. And looking at the swatch, I still don't have a clue what a luminous matte foundation is supposed to be. Is it just me or is the liquid foundation this one slightly warmer than the stick? I don't know, I'm seeing a little bit more of a yellow pool here. So like I said before, I am gonna be starting off with one full pump and then I will add the second one just to see how much of a difference that makes as well as how one pump looks. So this is one full pump on the back of my hand and I'll be using my beauty blender to apply. So 
So this is what one full pump looks like. I say the coverage on this is really, really nice, but I'm not sure that I would call it full coverage just yet, just because I do have some hyperpigmentation scars on my right cheek here that I can see poking through. And it's definitely not enough to cover your face and your neck. So that's one thing but even then so with the second pump i won't be applying it to my neck i'll have to add more product for that but i'm talking about general face application i understand sort of now where they're coming from with the luminous matte but i don't really see it as being any different to a satin finish foundation if that makes sense i do feel like there's a bit of a glow coming from my skin especially on my cheeks i wouldn't outright call this a matte foundation so this is what the product looks like this is one single pump and i'm gonna go ahead and apply the second i must say you guys i am really enjoying the fact that there is no fragrance on this product i am so happy about that because i for one absolutely could not stand that fragrance i just couldn't do it it wasn't for me i feel like the color isn't an exact match for the stick foundation this one is definitely pulling a little bit warmer to me so i feel like i look very orange very tanned on camera if you guys can sort of see my neck chest area this <laughs> is it my skin tone however when i put the stick foundation on i felt like it was a seamless blend like my skin had been put into that little applicator so definitely bear that in mind when you are choosing whether or not you want to buy this foundation it's not an exact match for the stick foundation well with 500g anyway i'm not sure about the other shades i have also done a little bit of reading on the formula so what they're explaining a luminous matte to be is in between a matte and dewy foundation. So the goal is to eliminate that super shiny, sort of oily appearance that some foundations can bring, but also allowing your natural shine to come through as well. That's what they're claiming the luminous matte to be. So I don't think it's anything new. I just think it's the terminology that they've used to brand their product. So I kind of understand where they were going with the whole luminous thing. So this is what the base looks like. I do really like the formula of this. It does sort of blur out my pores and everything like that. It's just the colour isn't really sitting amazingly with me. I wish it was just a little bit toned down, just a smidge. But this is where we are. When I was reading up on the formula as well, I did see that it was a 24 hour wear foundation and that it was supposed to be transfer proof, especially with the whole global situation and the masks and everything like that. When Huda did her video on the foundation, she did sort of press it against the mask and the product didn't transfer. So I'm taking a clean cotton pad and I'm just gonna hold it against my face and just press it down. I haven't set my face, so I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do that before I test it, but this is where we're at and I'm not sure if you guys can see but the product has actually transferred so I'll show you guys a clean cotton pad against this one so this is the clean one and this is the one that I've just pressed against my face so I don't know whose foundation was transfer proof but it wasn't mine so that's how i feel about the product so far i'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and i'll come back and give you guys my sort of final thoughts and everything like that so go ahead and get some snacks or some pause the video and i'll be right back So this is the finished look let me know what you guys think in the description box down below i do want to add a little bit of a side note if you were someone like me who when fenty released their cream bronzers 
you were disappointed in the shades. I've just tried for the very first time the Huda Beauty Tantor in the shade medium. And honestly, you guys, if you are still looking for a cream bronzer, I would definitely recommend this one. So this is the shade medium and I just used it for the first time on my face and that is how it swatches. So that's got the warmth that the Fenty Beauty bronzer didn't have. So if you weren't on this before, I put you on, you're welcome. Back to the foundation. So I do like how it is currently looking. I I'm definitely surprised just because I didn't know what to expect going in, especially with the whole luminous matte feature that they were sort of advertising, but it is holding up very well and I've got minimal creasing at the moment. So nothing beyond my usual area. So like I've got under eye creasing, but it's nothing different to how it is without any makeup or anything like that. The pores are, you know, we're looking smooth, we're looking soft. I feel like I look a little bit on the greasy side, just a tad, but it's okay. The areas of my face that are naturally lit up are usually my cheeks. So you guys can see that right now, my cheeks are kind of one of the brighter areas on my face. Everywhere else does have a really smooth sort of look to it and I'm not mad. I am not mad at all. I think that this foundation is everything that anyone who didn't like the first one would want it to be, especially with that scent. I'm very, very pleased to say that I will probably have this foundation and use it a lot more than some of my other ones. This is definitely kind of up there now. Yeah, I'm very, very impressed. I think that Huda really did something here, you know? products i feel like i kind of sleep on them a little bit to wrap up the video i do like the foundation and i am liking the formula i am just going to go ahead one more time with another cotton pad to see about the transferring now that i have set my face so here is a clean cotton pad and i'm going into that same area that i had before and i'm pressing it in like this and that is what it looks like hold on let me get it in focus so there's a teeny tiny bit of transference, but not as much as when I had just applied it. So that was my bad. That was my bad. I do admit it. I feel like I look a little bit shiny. Does anyone else see that? Like every now and then at certain angles, I'm getting a little bit of an oily type of look. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I am definitely going to have a little bit more of a play with the foundation. I will use it for the next couple of days and I will try to update the comment section. If I forget, someone just give me a nudge and be like, hey girl, you said you was going to update us. It has been four days. Where you at? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have picked up this foundation already, let me know what you think. I love interacting with you guys in the comment section, so be sure to drop a comment. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that button now, and I'll see you guys in my next video.